Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a few weeks now. I was doing the Haitian Heritage Month, month Challenge on my vlog channel where I uploaded 31 videos for the 31 days of May. Check it out if you haven't already. So this video will be about Zion's locks, his two year lock update and sort of journey because I'm going to take it back and show you guys exactly where he started from. And this right here is where he is now. This is after a twist out. I took his um, two strand twist out. So that's why it looks a little crinkly. So before I get into what we do now and what's going on with his hair present day, I'm going to take you guys back a little bit to show you guys where my baby come, came from in terms of his locks. And if you've been following his journey for a while, you already previous to this information. So this was the very first video I uploaded concerning Zion's hair when I first started his locks. I started his locks with some coils and his hair was so short. It was like one inch and in something, one inch and in some change long. It wasn't even, <laughs> I don't even think I could have braided his hair at that length. But this, these were his starting coils. However, he got into the habit of scratching them out. So... I went ahead and started interlocking them just so they can stay. I had no intentions of interlocking his entire journey. It was just so I can secure the parts that I made and I can secure those coils and to make sure that his hair stayed. I could have waited a little bit longer to start his locks until his hair was a little bit longer. But at that time, I felt like it was the right time to start his locks. So I found a method that worked for him and it was coils and then interlocking those short coils. So here is, I think here I was showing you guys just how I did the interlocking after the coiling. This is a finished product of what it looks like. His hair is a whole lot more secure. And from this point on, I just let his hair do, do its thing. And throughout his entire journey, I've literally retwisted his hair once a month. No more often than that. Only once a month. This right here is his one month lock update. And I think that's where I started that whole rhythm of when I was going to do his hair or maintain his hair once a month. This is what his hair was looking like at that point. And there was some growth to me. I saw growth. That's why I made the update for you guys for his one month. As you can see, there's a little, a little difference there. And here is his three month lock update his hair definitely started budding by this stage and this is where I stopped doing the interlocking this is where I just started twisting retwisting like normal and stopped interlocking because I felt like his hair was at a length where it can it could be twisted that way and still be preserved for a good week before it, you know it started looking like it needed to be maintained but as I said before, I only did his hair once a month and I still do that to this day. So for the people that have asked, no, his hair is not interlocked anymore. It hasn't been since he was three months locked. This here is six months locked. He definitely had a lot of budding hair. I saw a lot of progress here in his hair. And another frequently asked question is, is it better to start locked with short hair or better to start locked with long hair? I say long hair only because I feel like short hair is a lot more maintenance and short hair, of course it can be done obviously, but short hair, it comes with a lot more, you need a lot more patience to start with short hair because there were days his hair just looked like, oh my God, like just take it out. <laughs> but, but, um, there were, I mean, he loved his hair and that's the beauty of children. He didn't care what his hair looked like. He just loved that. He got his hair the way he wanted it. He loved that. He got locks like he wanted it. And I've told you guys before, I never just one day put locks in his hair. He asked, can he have his hair like his mommy? And I was like, of course you can have your hair like mommy. And that's how he got his locks. And I think that's all he cared about. And this was after um, freshly retwisting his hair at his six month lock anniversary. But as I was saying, he just cares about the fact that he has the locks that he wants. And another frequently, it's not really an asked question, but it's a comment about how tight his hair is and 
I'm going to make his hairline recede and all this stuff. And of course, when you have children, um, when you're putting your children out there, people will have their opinions. I know that. But um, I always respond to people and tell them, no, it's not tight at all. I'm raising all my boys to be very, very assertive men and never to let anything be done to them that they don't want to be done to them, regardless of who's doing it. I'm mommy and they are taught if something is hurting, something is you need to say no, regardless of who's doing it. So rest assured, rest assured that Zion would never sit there and let me hurt him and not say anything. He will definitely say something. If anything, he'll get on here and make a video and tell you guys about it. <laughs> but this is his nine month lock update right here. I was pretty much clarifying his hair with just a wash, getting his little lint out because as a child, like I said, he just cares that he has his locks. He doesn't care about maintenance. He doesn't care about what it looks like. He just cares about getting his hair in the dirt, getting his hair in the carpet, wherever he can put his hair is what he did. So here, is what his hair was looking like at nine months locked at this point they had pretty much fully formed he has a little length on him and here is one year one full year of locking this footage is from his one year lock update and as you guys can see his locks are pretty much in getting there getting getting more more and more mature and progressing very nicely his favorite part of having locks is being able to shake them. <laughs> and he actually inspired his cousin Marcus to also get locks. If you guys have been following Marcus's journey also, I will be updating um, on him the next time I see him. I don't live that close to Marcus anymore, so that's why I haven't been updating on him. But his hair is doing very well. It's getting longer and just doing very well. And during the course of Zion's journey, he also decided he wanted to see his hair because he missed his hair. He had not seen his hair for a long time. So as a mother that's trying to raise an assertive young man, I went ahead and said, okay, let's comb it out. And, you know, after he kept asking for a few days, I was like, all right, let's comb it out. And once he felt his hair, he's like, okay, that's all I needed. He really didn't want the rest of them combed out. He wanted to keep his locks. He just wanted to feel his loose natural hair. And I wanted to give him that opportunity regardless of me having to comb it out. So here are the new coils after I combed out his hair. And here's a little bit of a length check for one year of locking. That's not too bad. And right here, um, I believe I was styling his hair for school or something. His hair is very similar to my hair in texture, except that his hair um, is of a thicker density than mine. He has fine hair, but it's thicker, if that makes sense. It's, he doesn't have like the really thick hair, but it's um, his strands are thicker. Here's a close-up of what his hair was looking like at one year. What his roots were looking like. His hair is very healthy and I think the locks actually promote the health of his hair, especially because I maintain his hair very minimally. We still don't use products, which is another frequently asked question. What products do I use to reduce his hair and all of that? I don't use, I wouldn't say, I'm not going to say products because oils are still some type of product, but I don't use um, gel or wax or anything like that. I just use oils and hair lotion if needed. I wash, I still wash his hair with his Aveeno soap because he does have eczema and I don't want to irritate his skin in any way with any harsh soaps. And back to present day, this is not his hair present day. He still loves shaking his hair, it's his favorite thing to do. And he loves the two strand twists. He always asks me to put them in. But after a week or so, he's like, mommy, can you take them out? because I want my hair like daddy's. He likes the way his dad's hair look, looks down. And he also likes the way my hair looks, but he does like his two strand twists also. So that was before washing his hair. This is me washing his hair. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like being washed. The texture changes and all of that from wet to dry.
And once out of the shower, I'm just gonna moisturize his hair, like I said, with nothing special, just oils and I don't think I use hair lotion this time. I think I just only use oils on his hair because I didn't want um I didn't want it to be too dense with anything because I, I needed it to be dry really quickly because he was going to be in my sister's wedding later on that day. And I'm just retwisting his hair with the loop method. Once the hair gets a certain length, I even do this, do this with my clients. I don't use clips anymore. I just do the loop method because it's quicker. And it's easier for me to turn the hair and all of that when I'm styling. He thought I wasn't looking, <laughs> but I saw him making those faces. Um, but yeah, that's it there. And all I gave him was some braids or basket weave type braids going to the back just to pull his hair all the way back because he was going to be wearing a suit and I wanted him to look really pulled together. And, you know, not the attention being really on his hair, but the wedding. All right, and that's it for Zion's two-year lock journey slash update slash lock anniversary. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing more videos with Zion in the future, of course, and definitely keeping you guys updated on his hair if anything changes. As far as I know right now, Zion has no intentions of cutting, um, asking to cut his hair or asking to comb out his hair. He says he loves his hair. He wants to keep it forever. But I mean, kids are kids. He can easily change his mind and want a haircut, but he seems to really not want one right now at all. And this is the finished product, what his hair looks like. He's getting ready for the wedding. He's really happy and pumped about it. Well, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my future videos. Be sure to check out my vlog channel to watch the wedding. Bye, guys.